All right, quick recap. We're looking at the federal income taxes, meaning uh, the federal income tax being the major type of tax for the federal government to collect money to do what it's supposed to do, mainly defense for us, in essence, the military. We're thinking about whether or not we can deduct taxes for the calculation of federal income taxes, which would mean, of course, we can't deduct federal income taxes to calculate federal income taxes because that would result in a circle reference. But what about the state taxes? Possibly we could deduct the state taxes. However, remembering that normally in an income tax system, the natural types of deductions would be those that we had to expend in order to generate revenue as is seen in like a Schedule C, where we have income minus expenses, business deductions resulting in net income so that we're taxed on the net income. But sometimes they're going to include, and this happens much of what Schedule A is, other deductions that we can deduct even though they're basically personal in nature as would be the case for normal uh, taxes for the state and locale because those are taxes that will be dependent on your personal living choices on where you're going to be in other words if you paid state and local taxes as a part of your business you would think they might be deductible on like a schedule c as a normal and necessary business expense but if they're personal, you would think it would not be deductible. But for some reason, some of them are, right? And we talked about the ways that the state can tax in prior presentation, which could include then the having a state income tax similar to the federal uh, income tax system or possibly a sales tax system. And we also talked about taxes on property, in this case, before real estate property, typically someone's home and the deductibility of that. And now we're taking a look at basically other property taxes, which probably isn't the big one, right? Because the big one, when you think of taxes, is the state tax, the primary tax tool they use to fund the state, which is typically a sales tax system and or an income uh, tax system. And then we have the property tax for those that own a home, which is going to be significant. And this category then is not the big one, but still could be something that we have to keep in mind and add for the state and local personal property taxes. All right, enter on line 5C, the state and local personal property taxes you paid, but only if the taxes were based on value alone and were imposed on a yearly basis. Example, you paid a yearly fee for the registration of your car. Part of the fee was based on the car's value and part was based on its weight. You can deduct only the part of the fee that was based on the car's value. So this becomes something that seems a little bit complex, right? So now we're paying taxes on our car and you would think that that's going to be some form of taxation, but actually only part of it is going to be uh, the deductible part technically. And so you want to, so, and this is something that although it's not as big of a dollar amount, it will typically come up because everybody has uh, the vehicle and so therefore are typically going to be paying the tax. Now, again, when would this come up? Only if someone is itemizing. So if someone doesn't own a home, then most likely, of course, they don't have a mortgage and not, aren't paying the mortgage interest and don't have the property taxes, therefore are far less likely to be itemizing unless they're fairly wealthy individuals, in which case the, the tax itself could get them close to itemizing for the state income tax and so on, uh, even though there's a cap on it now. But in any case, if they are itemizing, then it becomes something that you got to pick up because they are they're almost certainly going to have a car and then you're going to have this tax that will be applicable as a standard kind of questioning point. And then the question is, how exactly are you going to calculate the fees that they're paying for their car to make sure that you're in compliance with uh, the part that sh is deductible versus that that is not? So example, you paid a yearly fee for the registration of your car. Mostly everybody has the car registration they have to deal with because they own a car and all places and locales are going to have that registration. Part of the fee was based on the car's value and part was based on its weight. You can deduct only the fee uh, that was based on the car's value. 